I was looking on the forums after yesterday's show on Poker Road, and I mean, there wasn't anything. I kind of expected more of a reaction. There wasn't even a post from the six Blueberry. Yeah, we need more love from the Poker Road forums. That's all right. That's fine. You don't want to pay attention to us, Poker Road forums? That's okay. We've got another forum in mind. Two plus two? This one for you. All right. So we decided to, with the internet heavy field, appeal to the internet kids. And what do internet kids love, BJ? Math. That's right. So today's show is the mathiest thing we could come up with in terms of title, and it is. Well, you'd be surprised how many equations are uh, taken already, so we had to fall back to quadratic. Welcome to x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a with Jess and BJ. All right, so we've got math, we've got internet, and we've got prop betting. And we know that 2 plus 2 loves a good prop bet. All right, so let's start with the prop bet. Yes, we have to settle up from yesterday's prop bet, which was where Dan Heimiller was going to finish in the field. The um, line was 22. It was close. Nice line, Bookie. Uh, uh, Dan just made the under. Yeah, he finished 20th. We both took the under. Score one for BJ and Jess. And good luck to Dan Heimiller at the Celebrity Invitational final table yes. tomorrow. So he does tomorrow get a day evening. of rest out of it. Way to go. Ahead. Yeah, I'm sure he's excited about that day of rest. All right, so for today's over-under, we decided again, what is 2 plus 2 like? 2 plus 2 likes girls. See, that's why Jess is more popular than me. Exactly. And you know what we have in our field? A girl. <laughs> Kathy Liebert is still in, unfortunately a little short stack. She's coming in today, 17th out of 18th in chips, 304,000, which is about 15 big blinds. Right, but she's she can play a short stack well. She's not one to just shove it with any two. No, so. and she's been playing short stack poker for like three days now, so right. clearly knows how to do it. Where's Kathy Lieber going to finish? The line is 12. Right. All right. Since I'm a girl and we're talking about girls, I'm going to go first on this one. Go ahead. And I think she's not going to make it to 12, I have to say. I really hope that Kathy does better. You but hate Kathy Liebert. I'm taking the over? I can never do these. I'm so sorry. Over means you're voting against her. You think okay. she'll finish like yes. 17 or something. I'm, I'm sorry, two plus two. Uh, so girls can't do math. I want to disagree with you because all these internet kids, they're just going to be shoving whatever so she can easily outlast a bunch of them. I don't I know. I, I think I have a lead in this, don't I? I'm going to risk. We're tied. I thought I beat you the day before. I beat you one day before that, and then we tied, and then we. Tied. You know what? Faith in Kathy. She's gonna make <laughs> it. Oh, you just slow rolled me. Yeah, she's right. gonna finish tenth. Uh, I hope she does better, but I mean, generally, when you shove all in X number of times, at some point, you're gonna get called, and maybe things don't go your way. But she's already these, doubled up a couple. A lot of times. these online guys, they're you know three rays in light, so when she shoves in with a hand, she's gonna be a big favorite. I know, but she's just not gonna like cold ship it with nothing either. Um, That's what I'm saying. I, she'll also, have they, a hand. They know that she she's gonna show up with a hand more often than not. She's Doesn't have matter. Some crazy polarized ring. Anyways. Doesn't matter. These online kids are insane. Uh, the action yesterday was insane. By the way, yes, we it started was. out. And our rise player of the day from the day before, Richard Toth, who ended the day pretty much tied for the chip lead with Jason DeWitt, just 30, right around a million. Back. Yeah, right around a million in chips. Second person out of the day. We were stunned. Uh, um, big old hand with Bakes, in which uh, Bakes back shoved Ace Jack on into his queens and spiked a club flush to. Knocked Toth out. There was another hand with High Miller earlier that chipped him down a bit, and so. For you non-online people, Bakes is David Baker. Oh, I thought you were going to define back shoving, but. I have no idea what back shoving is. It you know where you call the raise and then like someone. Re yes, there was violence at the table, BJ. That's Could've exactly happened. what happened. Uh, Anything's possible in my High Miller raise, flat, re-raise, fold, back shove, all in, call. Back shove, all in. All right. Ace Sounds Jack, dirty. Queens, Club, Jeej. All right. Um. That was a really big pot. Yes. Gave Bakes the chip lead. Good We're Bakes. thinking, how are we going to top this? Then we get down to 27 as we lost players like we lost Grinder, we lost Joe Hashem, Daniel Lai, Scott Seaver, a uh, couple other big names. We get down to 27, we redraw. Yes. And war begins. James Carroll was dominating most of the day. He was Who? at or near James Carroll. Who? James Carroll. The guy, he was oh, like. Oh, Kroll! Carol. Sorry, James Car no, not Kroll. Kroll. 
Cruel 103, cruel. Whatever. Okay, so James Carroll had a good day. He was up or, at or near the top he of the chip He started the day top three day. in chips. And yes. then just chipped up, chipped up, chipped up from there. And carried it all the way to the final three tables when he was seated next to Vivek Rajkumar. Who? Vivek Rajkumar. Oh, side up. WPT champion Vivek Rajkumar. I think he's won like the Sunday Million, Final Table, some F Tops. WPT Borgata Poker Open. Yeah, that too. Um, so the two of them get together and immediately fireworks. It was shenanigans from the get go. Um, first time it. Vivek was just holding over Carol. No, not true. No. Uh, there was one hand where Vivek doubled through Kroll uh, with Kings versus Tens. The Kings and Tens, yeah. But then Kroll won yeah. probably. A third of that back the very next hand and then I would say the hand of the tournament the happened. long one the long one this is the TLDR of hands T what is okay I hear TLDR I write my post and people write TLDR what the hell does that mean it means that they thought you had really good points to make too long didn't right. read ah okay now I understand you kids <laughs> yeah now you know Bastards. why I say that to you all the time Right. Okay. Go on with the uh, hand. All right. So here's what happens. Kroll opens Vivek three. Kroll equals Carol. Go ahead. Uh, back on Kroll. Kroll basically clicks it back, and then Vivek flop. Flop comes. King Jack eight. Chiggity check it. And then Vivek bets. Kroll calls. The tizern comes. The ten. Chiggity check it. Bet. Call, river, five, Chiggity check it, jam! Time bank. Lots of time bank. Like 12 minutes of time bank. This is like performance art. I have no idea what you're talking about, but go ahead. I put in my resume that I'm fluent in interweb nerd. Yes, I am not. Um, I've been online since before war games and when AOL was known as LOL or LOL was AOL, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You had a Prodigy account, too, didn't you? No, I passed it. I had an account before Prodigy existed. Go ahead. There was internet before Prodigy? Yes. You oh. know, like war games. You call up the school, you hook the phone that you got from AT&T that you rented, put it in the acoustic coupler, all that good stuff. Then did you send a message over the telegraph, type it out in Morse code? I know Morse code. All right. Anyways, Kroll tanks for forever. And there was kind of a weird thing with calling the clock, right? Uh, eh, not that weird. Uh, there was a huge crowd gathered, and uh, Carol knew he was taking a long time. At one point, he said, hey, if any, if any of you guys want to call the clock, go ahead. Tournament director Matt Savage said, all right, you have one minute to act. And he's like, wait, who called the clock? And it turned out that Matt said, he's like, no, no, no. So Matt Savage called it back a couple more minutes, and then finally he said, you know what? If you all want to call the clock, go ahead. He said, go ahead, call it. And, <laughs> and then it, <gasps> when he said call, call it, call. He said and it kind of loud, and people around the table all reacted as if, oh, he called and kind of leaned in. But Vivek knew exactly what he meant, uh, and so Vivek didn't flinch, didn't give off any information at all. Carol quickly calmed it down, but said, yes, let's start the countdown, and ended up folding. Yeah, ship, ship the chips. And Vivek uh, has not said a word about what he had. No, and he, that gave him very much the chip lead. He ended with very much the chip lead. Carl didn't fare so bad himself. He ended up top seven in chips, so he is above, above average, average and doing fine. Uh, just needed some time to recover after that. Yeah, they were. They both had big stacks, which is what allowed the hand to play out. I don't know what you were talking about, but uh, it they was don't. raise, re-raise, re-raise, pre-flop, and then uh, Vivek was the aggressor on every street, shoved the river, huge pot. That was easily the most chips I've seen on the table, big denomination chips in a couple of tournaments. I, there were literally chips over the yeah. entire table, but that was a really lame way to tell it. Mine was much cooler. I'm not gonna... All right, so I think we timed out just then, and when we came back, everything seemed to be okay. Hope y'all at home sat out. No blind stealing. It's shady, and I don't like it. So you're comparing this to, like, we got our internet connection cut off? That's what happened, isn't it? Okay, I'm just checking, I'm trying to translate. Go ahead, just right. keeping up here. Okay, well, you better keep up because we're going to talk lots of online-y stuff right about now because... Because it's a live tournament. Go ahead. This field is absurd. Uh, That's what I hear. John Aguiar, Fatal Error, pointed out on Twitter, with about four tables left, this is pretty much the most legendary online poker field in a live tournament ever. 
legendary like how? Well, you've got like a ton of online poker legends and poker like, like pros. You got ADZ, Matt Marifiotti, PB Jacks, Jason Senti, D Fish, Shannon Shore, Bakes, the man, the myth, the G Burrow 780, Steve Gross. Do you know that when Steve Gross wakes up in the morning, like birds sing, babies cry, the world is rejoicing? See, now wait a second. You're calling all these people legends. Most of these guys are in their 20s. Wait, wait I'm not even done with my list. You got <sighs> Kroll, you got Berkey, you got Master J33, one of the other big stacks of the day, Jason DeWitt, and Psyduck. Psyduck. Vivek, you know, the man, Vivek. the myth, the legend, Vivek. Okay, but see, now you're leaving out a few people. We have, like, legitimate legends in this field. We have Carlos Mortensen, we have Kathy Liebert, we have Alan Cunningham. Live pros, BJ? You want to report on the amateurs, too? I, Carlos has over 10 million in winnings. Online? No, he won a little tournament called the WSOP Main Event, another one called the WPT World Championship, Were those two other party? WPT titles, a bracelet. This guy wins everything, probably a has the highest oh, earnings ratio. Oh, he won a WCOP bracelet? No, a WSOP bracelet. Oh, I thought he had like a jersey or something of value. Come on, BJ. <sighs> All right. So we have this absurd internet field. We're going to see how clowns, a couple of live pros. A couple of damn good live pros. Uh, he Alan stacks Cunningham. the chippies, that's kind of fun. Yes, I'd like to see some online player. I feel like there's serious player. Photoshop potential for the chips. I'd like to but. see some online player stack his online chips, which is just a number, the same cool way that Carlos Mortensen can build a bridge. All right. Apparently BJ hates the internet, so we'll see how this question of the day works, because we're going to ask, what is your favorite internet meme? And before you spout out some nonsense about why the internet sucks, I'm going to go ahead and get mine taken care of, okay? Go ahead. I love the literal version music videos where they will take an old school music video and they will re-sing it to the same tune, but they'll change the lyrics to basically say exactly what's happening on screen. My favorite is uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart, where they'll be like, candlelit room, random door is opening and a girl is running by with a lot of eyeliner on her. Yeah. Wow, you actually sung that tune. That wasn't horrible. That's a compliment almost. Thank you. I can't really sing. That's all right. But you okay. should check the video out because it's pretty cool. Okay. And so, then they do some other ones. Take on me with pipe fights. So you want to know my favorite internet meme? I think so. All right. Thumbs up. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. I'm coming up with 32 point... 3-3, three, three, uh, repeating, of course, percentage of survival. Oh, that's a lot better than we usually do. Uh, All right, thumbs up. Ready, guys? Let's or? do this. Leroy Oh, my God, he just ran in.